Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here today to make an episode about why you should not be afraid of black snakes and why you should not kill them. Black snakes are really <laughs> one of my favorite snakes. There's nothing to be feared from them. This is a absolute wild black snake that I've never picked up until five minutes ago. We've had no chance to acclimate. I found him in a friend's house where she raises birds and chickens and many other bird organisms. She had some young birds in the house. The door was open, the snake heard the birds and went in to see if he could find them. But you can see that they're not dangerous at all. This one has no interest in biting me. They can also musk, and he hasn't done that. He hasn't even felt agitated enough to musk. So in this episode, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should not be afraid of this snake, and you should not kill it. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So, reason number one not to be afraid of or kill a blast snake. First of all, they're very docile. This is a four or five foot black snake. And again, he's never been picked up by a human being in his life. And he's not making any effort to bite me. They're really, really very gentle snakes. So black snakes are really pretty uh, comfortable around humans and human habitation. So you may see them near your house, but there's really no need to fear. It's not like going near a yellow jacket's nest. The yellow jackets will come out and they will sting you if you go near their nest. But black snakes aren't gonna come out and bite you if you're near them. They just don't do that. They're really very docile. Reason number two not to kill black snakes, especially if they're near your house. If you've got black snakes in your shed or in your barn, they're likely there because there are mice there. And mice and rats and other rodents carry disease. And mice are really disgusting organisms. I've had them in my shed and they will just poop and pee everywhere. And that creates a whole nother health risk to, to have them around like that. So black snakes will eat mice and rodents that can carry disease that are around your shed or your barn or near your house, but only because you've got a lot of mice there. If you can regulate what is attracting the mice, your black snakes will probably disappear as well. But I'd rather have a black snake than mice running around. Number three, another reason not to kill a black snake or be afraid of them, because they'll keep other snakes away. And other snakes might be things like copperheads and rattlesnakes. And you don't want to have venomous snakes around your house. So this goes back to a basic biological principle. And the biological principle is that no two organisms can occupy the same niche at the same time. If they do, they'll compete until one is eliminated. Black snakes will outcompete copperheads in your barn, and copperheads just don't like that habitat either. So if you kill a black snake where there's mice in your barn, all you're doing is opening that habitat up to another snake. And personally, I'd rather have a black snake in my barn than any other snake species because I know them and I know they're docile. Reason number four, you don't need to worry about black snakes entering your house. They just won't do it unless you've got mice in your house. And if you've got mice in your house, it's probably because there's an opening into your house that the mice are entering and that'll be the same opening that the snake has entered. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of the mice in your house, find where they came in, close that opening, and you'll never have a black snake in your house because nobody wants to have a snake in their house. <laughs> and lastly, black snakes, if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. <laughs> They're not going to come out and bite you. Just let them go about their business, and their business is taking care of the mice that are in your shed or barn or in the field near your house. The black snakes are good things to have. One last thing I want to point out is that black snakes don't actually eat copperheads. Uh, that's a misnomer. And it comes from the fact that king snakes, which are sometimes black, have been seen eating a copperhead. And so uh, people mistakenly believe the black snakes were eating it. However, 
they will, I believe, outcompete the copperheads for food and keep them out of your area. Another question people often ask me, and I want to clarify, is that black snakes do not mate with copperheads. There's no black snake copperhead hybrid. It's physically, biologically, DNA impossible for a black snake to breed with a copperhead. So don't worry about having any kind of those hybrids there. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. I hope you enjoyed seeing this black snake up close. I want to remind you again, this is a wild snake. This is not a pet snake. This snake has never been held by a human before the last 15 minutes. I'm going to let him continue what he's doing. Uh, I hear too many people uh, fear snakes and out of fear, I think they kill them immediately. This is a great snake to have around your house. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. I'm going to head out and take this snake out to the far end of the property.